today's topic is circular motion. When an object moves in a circle, its velocity changes direction. That means that we have an acceleration. This acceleration is called centripetal acceleration. Centripetal acceleration is acceleration of an object moving in circular motion whose direction is towards the center of the circular path. The magnitude of the centripetal acceleration is given by V square over R. From Newton's second law, if we have an acceleration, we have a net force. For an object undergoing circular motion, the net force is called centripetal force. The force always points towards center. The magnitude of centripetal force is substituting V square over R into F equals to Me. The formula is MV square over R. For example, when a bus is going through a curve, there is a centripetal force provided by the frictional force between the ground and the wheels that keeps the bus moving in circle. Another example is a ball spinning in circle, where the centripetal force is provided by the tension force. Now, let's test your understanding. When on a ride that goes in a circle, you feel push or pull in a circular motion. What is this called? A. Resistance B. Gravity C. Centripetal force and D. Air resistance If your answer is C, that means you got it right. The next question is If an object of mass 3.5 kg is travelling in circular motion, with a radius of 3.14 meter at a speed of 3.46 meter per second, what will be the centripetal force on the object? Listing down all the mass, radius, and velocity, and substituting them into the formula of mv square over r, your answer should be 13.34 newton.